Hi guys and welcome to my Cisco tutorial. Today we're gonna see static net or network address translation. I have a lab ready here for you guys, so we will have our ISP site. So we have a router, a switch and a server. And then we have our local site, also router, switch and two clients. Our server will get IP address 172.168.0.2 and the default gateway will be one. On our client site, our clients will have 192.168.0.3, 2, and the default gateway will be 1. They're all hooked up with a serial interface. On our local site, it will have 1.1.1.1 as IP address, and at our ISP, it will be 2. So, first thing we're going to do is configure the IP addresses on our local machines. So, this will have 192.168.0.3, 2 plus 5. And the default gateway will be 192.0.1. So that's done. I already did this one. Two, the default gateway will be one. Alright, that's done. At our server site, our server will have 172.168.0.2. The default zero and then it will the default gateway will be 172.168.0.1 alright that's done so we're done configuring our IP addresses now we can go configure our IP addresses on our routers so the first router on our local we're gonna say no here and then we're going to enable m enable Configuring modes, and then we can start with giving it a host name. We're going to keep it called R1, and now we can start giving our I fast internet, fast Ethernet interface a IP address int f80/0, and we're going to start off giving it an IP address uh, 192.168.0.1. 255.255.255.0 Of course we have to say no shutdown And you see the port is green, it's up So that's done, now we can go to our serial interface It will be int sa2 slash 0 Alright Then also ip address 1.1.1.1 Right, and of course no shut down. So that's done for the moment of our uh, exit here. So we're done at our local side. We're going now to our ISP. Enable configuring mode and we're done. Start up with interface fa slash zero zero we've done IP address of course the IP is 172 172 of course also no shutdown report is up and then exit then our serial interface be int sa2 slash 0 we're going to give it an IP address 1.1.1.1.2 and two. Oops. 2 2 also no shutdown and also we have to set a clock rate clock rate 64,000 so we're done with the configuring of, an I of our IP addresses, so we can now start up with configuring our net translation. So we go back to our first router, our router on our local side, and then we start enable. We're already in enable mode and a config mode. So now int fa0 slash 0, and then IP net inside. And that's it. 
asset and then our serial interface will be the outside in the SA2 slash serial we'll have IP net outside so that's done now we have to configure our clients so we're gonna give our first client gonna be IP net inside source and then static and then we're going to give the IP of our client 0.3, so this machine. And we're going to give it 1.1.1.1. So that's done. And then we also have to set up a route. So it's going to be IP route 0 0.0.0.0.0. .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. .0. Zero, one dot one dot one dot two. So that's our IP route, and so now we can ping from our client. This client, we can ping to our server. Man prompt, ping one seven two dot one six eight dot zero dot two. First one is request side down, but then we see we get a reply. We're gonna do it again, and we can we get immediately a reply. If we go to our second computer, you'll see we cannot ping this server yet because it's not already a static because it doesn't yet have a static route, static net. Excuse me. Request timeout and request timeout. See, we cannot reach it. So we have to still have to configure that, but I will keep it at this. So you see, we have to we have now enabled a net route to our server on this router. So guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.